silent letters in English. Hello kids, how are you? I'm Zanel Bahailu and today we are going to talk about silent letters in English. So in this lesson we are going to see the 12 important silent letters in the English language. In this lesson I'm going to cover the definition and the spelling rules as well as the pronunciation rules of these 12 silent letters in the English language. So kids are ready? Let's begin. What are silent letters? Silent letters are letters that are spelled but are not pronounced. They are letters that you see in a written word but do not hear in a spoken word. For example, in the word knife, the letter K or K is silent when spoken. So first let's talk about how to spell silent letter. This would be the first section of this lesson. Kids, uh, spelling words with silent letters can be quite difficult. There are no rules about silent letters. However, you just have to remember if it has a silent letter when you spell a word. But today, I'm going to give you the following three rules that will help you to easily recognize silent letters. And these are the position of silent letters in words, the family of these silent words, and the parts of the words. Let's see them one by one. First, position of silent letters. Uh, in the English language, these silent letters may come at the beginning, in the middle, or at the end of a word. I'm going to give you three examples here. In the word write, W is a silent letter that comes at the beginning of the word write. In the word relation, the, the letter T is a silent letter which comes in the middle of the word. And lastly, COM. In the word COM, B is a silent letter which comes at the end. So knowing these uh, positions of silent letters will help you to easily spell out uh, any words. Now let's come to word family. Sometimes <coughs> words with silent letters are part of families of words. This means that silent letters are not always silent, uh, rather they can be heard in similar words or word family. Let me show you what I said with an example. Uh, look these two words, they are from the same family, death and debt. The B in the first word is silent, dead, but it's heard in the second one, debt. This means that debt and debt are from the same family. And this helps you to easily remember that there is a silent B in the word debt, whereas in the word debt there is a, a letter which is heard. Okay, let me give you some examples. Uh, in the word sign, the letter G is silent, but it's not in the word signal. Uh, I'm going to give you additional three examples. Uh, try to hear the pronunciation of the C, these three word families, and then uh, the silent letters are in brackets. You can easily now then, let me start. Crumb, crumble, column, columnist, resign, resignation. As you can see from these examples, we have silent letters, and again, the same silent letters can be even heard in another word. Okay, let's continue. Word parts. Sometimes silent letters are part of compound words. For example, cupboard, cupboard. So knowing that cupboard is made up of cap and the board helps you to remember the silent P in the word cupboard. 
Great kids, now let us start the second section of the main section of this lesson. So here we are going to see 12 useful silent letters. And uh, let us practice these silent letters using examples, example words. We are going to show you uh, the pronunciation and the spelling patterns of each uh, silent letter. So let's start with the first silent letter B. Rule number one. B is not pronounced after M at the end of a word. And rule number two, B is usually not pronounced before T at the end of a root word. Let me give you an example. First, silent B after the letter M. Com. Lam. Tom. Tum. You see, the B letter is silent in these words. Now let's go to this construction. Silent B before the letter T. That. That. Doubt. Subtle. Subtle. Okay, second. Silent letter C. Rule number one. C is not pronounced in the combination uh, S and C. Rule number two, C is usually redundant uh, before the letter K and the Q and therefore is not pronounced in such words. Let's have an example. First, silent C after the letter S. Scissors. Size. Muscle. Sin. Now let's see C before the letters K and the Q. First Q. Acquire. Acquire. Quick. Block. Stick. Excellent kids. Now let's continue. Third silent letter D. Rule number one. D is not pronounced when it comes after or sometimes before the letter N. And rule number two. D is also not pronounced when it comes before the letter G. Let us have an example. First, silent D before and after N. Uh, one stay. One stay. Sandwich. Sandwich. Handsome, handsome, handkerchief, handkerchief. Okay, let's continue with uh, D before the letter G. Pledge, hedge, bridge, badge. Silent letter G. Rule number one. G is often not pronounced when it comes before the letter N. And rule number two, G is not pronounced if it comes after a vowel and before an H letter. Let's see the first rule. Rule number one, silent G before the letter N. For N. Design. Align. Sign. Now let's see the second rule. Silent G before the letter H. Sight. Light. Night. Fight. I are doing good kids. Let's go to five silent letter H. Rule number one. H is not pronounced when it comes after W. And rule number two, H is not pronounced at the beginning of many words such as R. Let's see the first rule. Silent H after the letter W. Whisper. What? Where? Whistle. Now you see silent H at the beginning of many words. R. Honest, honor, air, air. Now we come to the sixth silent letter K. It gets only one rule. 
K is not pronounced when it comes before an N letter at the beginning of a word. Let's have an example, kids. Ni. No. Knock. Knife. Night. Neat. This is especially challenging to many non-native uh, language learners, so you will know uh, most of them. Let me continue. Seven, silent letter L. L is not pronounced after the vowels A, O, and U. The examples, calf, half, fox, yuck, Shoot, would. Number eight, silent letter N. N is not pronounced when it comes after M at the end of your word. Examples Autumn, Column, Dam, Condemn. Now, silent letter P. P is not pronounced at the beginning of many words using the combination PS, PT, and PN. Let's see them one by one. The first rule, silent P at the beginning of PS and the PT. Psychology. Psychic. Tarmigan. Tarmigan. Tridology. Tridology. Now let us see P silent at the beginning of PN. Pneumonia. Pneumonia. Pneumatic. Pneumatic. Great guys. Uh, silent letter S. The rule. S is not pronounced before L and the following words and these are Island. Many, many students do not know how they can pronounce If you say Iceland, there is a country called Iceland in Europe. You are referring to that country. So don't forget to learn S is silent in such words. Island, not Iceland. Other words? Isle. Islet. And there, there are some other words which can have. Uh, Silent S. One is uh, one example is this. It's not debris. We say derby, derby. Number eleven. Silent letter T. It gets two rules. Rule number one: T is not pronounced with words ending in STN. And rule number two: T is not pronounced with words ending in STLE. Let's see them one by one. First, silent T with words STN. Listen, we have silent uh, T in here, moisten again, silent T, now with S-T-L-E, castle, not castle, you say castle, whistle, whistle, it's not whistle, whistle. And there are the words again in the same fashion. And uh, one good example for you is Christmas. We have T silent here. Christmas. Now we come to the last uh, silent letter that is going to be W. Rule number one W is not pronounced if it comes before R at the beginning of a word. And rule number two W is not pronounced if it is followed by an H and an O at the beginning of your word. First example, silent W before R. Right, wrong, rap, wreck. Now silent uh, W followed by H and O. Who, her, whom. Whoever. So as you can see, we have uh, covered the 12 most important uh, 
silent letters in the English language and I'm going to give you a homework. You need to practice what you have learned today. Don't forget to practice always. Uh, thank you very much African kids. Until I meet you next Friday. Bye bye for now. Bye.